15 minutes after 6 on this Tuesday morning. Welcome back to Sunrise. You know it's mm -hmm. time for your headlines. You're going to get TK Steak. <laughs> Good morning, T. <laughs> oh, because I was holding my breath like, okay, what is that is coming? What is coming? You're going to get a tick. Yes. You're going to get a tick from Tick. Hey, Come on, yeah, TK Steak. A, a TK Take. I love that. Good morning. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. You could, you and, could, good, and great yeah. morning to You can have that one for, for your TikTok. Yeah. Oh, my. TikTok. TK's TikTok. TK's Takes. No, you know TK's take. TK's take. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll discuss. <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll firm it up. My well, great mission morning. Has and been especially successful. to those of you on YouTube. I know our YouTube family is always buzzing. Great morning, YouTube. All right. So, um, first up, Clark leaves cabinet for top IMF role. Hmm. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark is stepping down from the wholeness led cabinet for a significant new role after being appointed deputy managing director of the International Monetary Fund. Minister Clark is expected to assume this new role come October 31 and will be the first Caribbean national to hold the post. Prime Minister Andrew Holness is expected to announce Dr. Clark's replacement soon, but until then, he is offered best wishes, claiming the appointment as commendation of his administration. Mm. So. Yeah, what, it's what, a big deal. Yeah, it is a it's big, a, deal. It's a big it's a, deal. Congratulations to you, Dr. Nigel Clark. Ah. Yes, the original Nigel boy, right? <laughs> so I got to tell you, no fun. Uh, you know, uh, Nigel uh, is a chess, uh, you know, master as well, you know? Okay, okay. And so he, he knows the right moves to make, right? Yes. He plays chess. Not checkers, yeah, you understand? Yes, yes. But I really think it is such a feather in his cap. Mm -hmm. And even as a country, that somebody from the Caribbean, somebody from Jamaica, can be seen as, you know, being fit and worthy mm -hmm. and talented and skilled and educated enough to take up such a role. So I definitely, of course, you know, some people, well, let me see, man. Bitter sweet. Yeah. You know, yeah. Bitter but, sweet. You know, yeah. man. So the yeah. thing is, I mean, all right. So in the course of my career in news, yeah. I have been, I've had to follow um, IMF managing directors, yeah. um, deputy managing directors, people who have come to visit Jamaica and you're like, oh, the deputy managing director of the IMF is yes. here, a press conference is going to be held, etc., etc., etc. And so you, you know it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And so when you see somebody who you've interviewed somebody who you you know have you know a personal exper personal experience mm -hmm. and you know just a jamaican you're it's it's a very Feel proud good. moment yeah for him with his cv in his career trajectory this would be the equivalent of his dream job mm. and so it, it when it comes you would imagine that is he really going to turn it down? Because it's his job really... <laughs> oh, no. You know? I'm just saying, but Mr. Dr. Eh? Clark, if you need somebody, <laughs> to you know, bag. to take your bag, right? <laughs> to read to any contracts for you. <laughs> you know, take notes for just, you. Just say My passport is ready. <laughs> so just let me know. You know, you know I, I will have a few requirements, but yeah, just let writer, me know. You're, you're my writer. writer. But, you know, I'm, I'm always very impressed mm -hmm. with persons like Dr. Nigel Clark, like when you look on them people at CVTK, mm. you want to tell yourself, so mm. what, am what, am life? Doing? what am mm. I doing? Like I said, then, I sleep with us, I sleep the whole of my life. Mm. You know, I, I, I remember <laughs> listening when he became finance minister, <laughs> and he, they were doing an interview and they were asking him, you know, about, you know, his successes. And, yes, being a road scholar yeah, and, those and all things. of these yeah. things and all things that he's done. And he's like, well, in my family, I'm not special. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, like his siblings wow. and his uh, uncle. No, his, his father was a judge. Mm -hmm. His mom yes. was I, I, Oops, Mary Clark, Clark. A blessed man. A blessed man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was children's advocate. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's like, yeah, it's my family. Coming, down, coming from a long I'm just line. Nigel. Coming from yeah. a long line. Yeah. Yes. I'm just <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> and I never forgot him saying that. In my yeah. family. It's normal. Yeah, I think his sister is a doctor. Yeah. yeah I appeared yeah. him. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we wish him, we wish him all the, the best. best. Yes, Dr. Clark. Yes. And, yes. and we're looking forward to great things. Great things. And Indeed. even more great Indeed. things from our region. Right? Absolutely. So, next. next. Oh. Yes. Energy Minister slams fake news on oil finds. So, oh, Energy wow. Minister... Daryl Vaz is addressing widespread social media rumors about a supposed oil discovery on Jamaica's <laughs> shores, urging the public to disregard the claims circulating about the alleged oil find. He says that not only are these allegations false, but assured the public that he would be the first to share such any such significant news when it occurs. Meanwhile, United Oil PLC, the British firm with exploration rights off Jamaica's south coast, 
says that they have identified promising fields offshore, St. Elizabeth and West Milan, that could potentially yield over 1 million barrels of oil per day, with total projections nearing 12 billion barrels. United Oil has until January 2026 to decide whether to proceed or abandon the license to mine, although they've hinted at moving forward before 2028. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, Minister, what I would say is should there be such a find, mm -hmm. you would hope to be the first. <laughs> you would hope to be the first because in this era of everybody trying to, to break, be yeah, and be breaking to, to news, be break news before everybody else, like many times, I can speak for this, many times people are calling you, asking you for the information on something that relates to your organization or your yes. portfolio. And it's the first you're hearing and about it. And it's the first you're hearing about yes. it when mm. they call you. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yes. But what you see what the um british company said that's what i knew to be the fact yeah. and then all of a sudden i just saw this explosion of youtubers oil found, oil found. Yes. Yes. talking yes. about you know and i'm saying it, this can be right <laughs> and then you know you, you go and you you look on the legitimate sources of information and they're not saying it mm -hmm. so like I don't don't people i People need to know how to determine if something is fake. Dennis, they cannot because a lot no, of times like they want sense. information. But common sense is not so common after all. Like common sense. Yeah. Like if you see somebody, something moving all around, mm -hmm. there are sources that are legitimate, credible, credible mm -hmm. sources that you can check. And if you don't see it from legitimate, credible sources, question it. Question it. Mm -hmm. We need to teach our children, in this era of misinformation and disinformation, mm -hmm. we need to teach our in children how to spot information that's set out to Fake trick news. them. Yes, yes. And that is how also, especially now with AI, but that is why the internet can be so dangerous. Yes. Because there are people out there putting out information, spewing all types of lies, mm -hmm. and people lap it up. Mm -hmm. exactly. And they legitimately believe it because they are so gullible. And as one Mr. Palmer would have said, mm -hmm. people are like sheep. They're easy to lead. Yes. And now, they're, 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 I don't know if it is that they want to just believe anything and everything. It's almost as if, from your say it, yeah, it goes off a truck. But I then, think, I think, that's, that. I think that from, you know what mm -hmm. it is though, when people sound credible, then yeah. you just kind of take it on as gospel. So mm. when you come on, and especially if you're on YouTube, feels like TV, or yes. you feel credible and you're sounding intelligent, yeah. and it sounds like you've done your reading, and you're like, all right, I'll listen to that. Yes. And I think that people need to be very careful with the information yes. that they give. Not yeah. only, yes, you should check it in and fact check and do your own research, but for those giving information, be careful. But no. I saw something the other day, Dennis, mm -hmm. with Dr. Michael Abrams. Oh, yeah, And yeah. listen to what I'm it telling you. Real. It looked so real. What was it? It looked so... It was an air generator. It, it wasn't him. It, it was no, actually it him. him. No, it wasn't him. It wasn't he came out and did He came out and said, it wasn't him. No, but from me, he knows her name because the voice sounded a little bit... If you talk to him, you know him talking and him very vibes Yeah, but the average person was never spoken to him, you know? That's dangerous, you know? Very dangerous, Dangerous. Be very careful out there, guys. Right. Be careful what you believe because not everything that appears true is actually true. Uh, All right? People have their narratives that they want to push and them have them reasons and especially now to Dennis that people are getting paid via the internet and these sites and they know they'll say anything, they'll say anything they'll for say clickbait. Anything. It's, it it's doesn't matter what it's true. Yes. Yeah. But I mean true some of them are fixed address you can't find them but don't worry yourself. Mm, no, but it's freedom them. of speech. It's, yeah. it's freedom but of speech. Every freedom comes with responsibility <laughs> and you're only free in so far as it doesn't encroach on somebody else's freedom. Yes, ah. After the break lunchbox check the book bags check uh, everything, immunization, check. What else? Your tablets, your vitamins. We're going to be checking a lot of stuff this morning, right here <laughs> at school. It's right around the corner and free paper, soon. <laughs>